If your Windows computer isn't starting or booting up at all, you may have to reinstall the operating system. On my Acer Aspire Switch 10, I think Windows got corrupted somehow, and I was having occasional problems until one day it wouldn't boot up anymore. At this point I had to reinstall Windows to get it working again. The steps I'll show you in this video work on my Acer Aspire Switch 10, but you can follow these instructions on any Windows desktop or laptop computer. And I'll say this right here at the beginning, if you follow the directions in this video, all your data would be erased, so just proceed with caution. Now the first thing you have to do is create a recovery device, which is usually a USB drive. Find a functioning Windows computer and insert a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of capacity. In my case, I'm using my second Switch 10 laptop. In the Windows search bar, type in recovery. Then click to open the recovery software. And when you see the recovery tools, click on create a recovery drive. The next screen has some information about the recovery drive and what it can do. Here I'll click next. On this screen, it'll confirm that the computer sees the USB drive. Click next again. The last warning would tell you that the USB drive will be completely erased when the recovery drive is created. And when you're ready, click on the create button. This will take a few minutes to finish. Now take the newly created recovery USB drive and plug it into the computer that's not working. Turn on the computer and hold down the F2 key. In a few seconds the setup utility menu will pop up. Here click on boot and we're going to tell the computer to boot from the USB drive. In the list of devices, click the arrow next to USB HDD until it moves to the number one slot at the top. Now click on exit and then on the button that says exit saving changes. Then click yes to confirm the modifications. The computer will eventually come up in diagnostic mode. Here choose your keyboard layout. On the next screen there are several options. I'm going to click on troubleshoot here. On this page you can refresh your PC which could fix your computer without losing any files or you can choose to reset your PC and set it back to factory settings erasing all your data. For what we're doing today, I need to click on Reset Your PC, which will completely erase the computer and install a fresh operating system on the hard drive. I had Windows 8.1 on this computer, so that's the choice I'm given. Your options might be a bit different. So click on the operating system you want installed. In a few seconds, there'll be a warning for what's going to happen next. When you reset your PC, all your data, personal files, and apps will be deleted. Also, all save settings will be reset to default. In other words, all your files and settings will be deleted. My computer won't work anymore, so I have no choice but to continue with the reset. If you're sure you want to completely delete your computer, click on Next. On the following screen, you have the option to repartition the drives on your computer or keep the existing partitions. If you keep your existing partitions, they'll still be available after the reset, but the data may or may not be there on the other partitions after the reset. I want to completely start over on this computer, so I'll choose yes, repartition the drives, and delete everything on my laptop. On the next screen, since I'm keeping my computer, I'll click on the button that says just remove my files. If I were to sell my computer, I'd use the other option to fully clean the drive. Now we're on the last step, and in a bit I'll show you what you need to do after the computer has been reset. So if you're prepared to erase everything from your computer, click the reset button. From this point, the computer starts deleting all personal files and reinstalling Windows. Once the initial restart is complete, you have to choose a keyboard layout. On the next screen, I chose Turn Off Your PC, mainly because this is the first time I'm doing this. I may have been able to click on Continue and it would have probably launched into Windows, but I decided to choose this option to turn off my computer and restart it. When the computer reboots, it goes to the Windows login screen. At this point, just follow the on-screen instructions to get your computer set up again. When you're done, you'll have a completely fresh and functioning Windows computer minus all your data. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.